This video is about the cell cycle. The cell cycle is just simply the process by which our bodies make new cells. And these cells are going to be genetically identical to the parent cell, the cell that made them. So you can see here, we've got some eukaryotic cells with a nuclei. These are animal cells, all right? And they have two sets of chromosomes, one from mom, one from dad. So these are diploid cells. Okay, so we're gonna make new cells during a few points. Anytime we grow, so as soon as that sperm hits the egg and we've got a zygote, boom, we have to start dividing our cells to grow a baby. And even, of course, from the time a baby is born until you stop growing, um, growth is gonna be happening. Second time is any time you need to repair or heal. If you get a wound, your, uh, your cell cycle kicks in to, for instance, if you have a cut, to bring the skin back together. And then another great time to make new cells is when you need to replace dead cells, right? Your skin is like covered, it's just dead. Dead cells everywhere. So your skin is constantly making new cells to make new skin. So the cell cycle goes through a series of phases or stages. And we begin with interphase. The cell spends the vast majority of its life in interphase. So this is, we're gonna start here with G1. So G1, or gap one, is the beginning of the cell cycle process when the cell is just doing its cellular thing and growing and taking the temperature of its environment to try and figure out if it's time to divide or not. So during gap one, the proteins that are going to be needed for DNA to be reproduced, they're going to be made during this time. Okay, so after G1 and the proteins for DNA replication are produced, well, then let's replicate our DNA. And you're going to do that during the synthesis phase or S phase. So this is when our DNA is going to replicate. Once our DNA is replicated, then you're going to move into G2 part of interphase. G2 means gap 2, and this is the point at which proteins that are important for mitosis are produced. So um, we got some more growth. Then, once all these three steps of interphase are complete, your cell is going to move into mitosis. Mitosis is simply the part of the cell cycle where your DNA gets separated from each other. Sometimes people call this whole process mitosis, but really mitosis is just this small part where we're separating the DNA. And then finally, once everything's replicated and it's being pulled apart, finally the cells pinch apart in a process called cytokinesis. And so this is when the cytoplasm actually separates from each other. This cycle is very highly regulated. So it goes through a series of checkpoints. All right, so like I said, we begin with G1 as part of interphase. So your cell is growing, and during this time, before it moves into replication, this is where your cell kind of makes the decision about whether or not it's ready to divide. Um, are the environmental conditions good? Is the cell size too big? If it is, it's going to be time to divide. So at the end of G1, that's when your cells make the decision and they pass the checkpoint if it feels like cell division is the right thing to do. It moves on into synthesis, right, where our DNA is replicated, then into G2, where we hit our second checkpoint. This is the G2 checkpoint. And this is when our cell goes through and makes sure that none of our DNA is damaged because what's the point in making new cells if the DNA is messed up? It's not going to work. So the G2 checkpoint stops and makes sure that the DNA from the synthesis section is all good and ready to go. So once that checkpoint is passed, we move into mitosis. Now mitosis has a few phases. One of them we're going to look at in a second uh, is called metaphase or alignment. So that's when your um, chromosomes are going to line up down the middle. So there's a third checkpoint called the metaphase checkpoint. And this is when the cell just checks to be sure that all of the 
chromosomes are lined up down the middle. And once it sees that they're all lined up down the middle, then that checkpoint is passed, separation occurs, and then cytokinesis. And you have two brand new cells that are then going to move into the G1 phase. So let's look at some diagrams. So again, there are four major steps. So we just saw a lot of phases and arrows, but all of this can be simplified into four simple steps. All right, so before we get going with those steps, right, you have your cell here. It's getting ready to divide. It's thinking about it. It's growing. And this is during G1. And once we reach that G1 checkpoint, then we're going to progress farther, right? And so once this G1 checkpoint is passed, we move into S phase synthesis where we replicate our DNA. So now you can see I have two copies of each chromosome here. Then once we have our um, DNA replicated, then we're going to start making the proteins to get ready for mitosis during G2, right? And we're going to have that G2 checkpoint right to be sure that the DNA is normal and that we're ready to go into mitosis all right so next our other two big steps are that are part of mitosis are alignment and separation so in alignment this is when our spindle fibers are going to attach to our chromosomes and move them to the middle so they're lined up down the middle of the cell another word for this the cell phase in which the chromosomes are lined up down the middle is metaphase right and this is when we find that metaphase checkpoint where our cell sees yes we're all lined up awesome we're good to go and start separation so at that point once we pass the metaphase checkpoint we're still in mitosis but finally our spindle fibers and centrioles start to pull those chromosomes apart so we've got our chromosomes being pulled apart here and the cytoplasm is going to start to pinch together during the separation phase. This pinching right here is called cleavage. And then finally, once we've got our chromosomes to the side, our cytoplasm is going to complete that division. Cells are going to be unique and separate from each other. Well, genetically identical, but they're going to be separate from each other and that process splitting the cytoplasm is called cytokinesis there you go four major steps of the cell cycle